Moses and the Red Sea. As soon as Pharaoh set them free, the Hebrew slaves set off in a hurry to leave Egypt. They took with them all their belongings, plus the gold, silver and gifts the Egyptians had given them. God did not lead them along the coastal road towards the lands where the Philistines lived. This might have led to a battle with tough Philistines, which God knew the freed slaves were not prepared for, and many might have fled back to Egypt. Instead, he led them into the desert by the Red Sea. During the day, God led them in a pillar of cloud that always stayed in front of them and never disappeared. During the night, God led them in a pillar of fire that lit up the route. Eventually, God led them to the shore of the Red Sea, where they camped. Meanwhile, just as God had warned Moses, Pharaoh and the Egyptians changed their minds and wanted the Hebrews back as their slaves. Pharaoh got in his chariot and gathered all his troops and 600 chariots to chase after the escaping Hebrews. When the escaping people saw the troops approaching, they cried out in fear. Have you brought us out into the desert to die? They complained to Moses. We'd rather be alive as slaves in Egypt than die in the desert. Don't be afraid, replied Moses. Stand firm and see how God is going to deliver you. The Lord is going to fight for us and you will never see the Egyptians again. Tell the people to move forward towards the Red Sea, God told Moses. Then hold your staff high and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide it so they can cross it on dry land. Moses obeyed. The freed slaves watched as the pillar of cloud that had been leading them moved between them and the chasing Egyptians. That night they were in light and the Egyptians were in darkness. God drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The people crossed through the Red Sea with a wall of water either side of them. The Egyptians tried to chase after them, but God jammed the wheels of their chariots and there was confusion among the troops. God is fighting against us, they yelled. God then told Moses to raise his hands over the sea. At daybreak, the walls of water collapsed and the dry path disappeared. The whole army of Pharaoh was swept away and none survived. Those safely on the shore knew God had delivered them as he had promised and put their trust in him. They also realized that Moses was God's servant and the best person to lead them. Moses and all those who had escaped sang a song about their rescue to thank God. Aaron's sister Miriam, the prophetess, and the women took tambourines and led everyone in dancing to celebrate. 